Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Quisha. On this channel, I like to do makeup, mukbangs, and more. Y'all, today is a makeup day. Today is a collab day. I know it's been a minute, y'all, but it is another edition of my collab series called Two Girls, One Palette, where two people take one palette and create their own looks. Today, I am collabing with the oh so fabulous face, so beat, wig, so slay, nails on point, makeup by Carrie. <laughs> Y'all know Carrie, but if you don't already, let me go ahead and talk about her for a quick second, y'all. Carrie slays. Carrie slays wigs. She's one of those wig bays where they say it's a fail and it's never really a fail. It's always looking fabulous. Her makeup is always on point. Always. She got the sharp wing that'll slice your life. That doesn't make any sense, but her wings be super sharp. Her face always looks so flawless. Highlight on point, lashes on fleek. She is so cool. She is very entertaining to watch. She talks a mile a minute, which I love. Um, I just really enjoy her and I really um, like watching her videos. So um, I reached out to Carrie and asked her to be a part of my collab and she graciously said yes. So um, I took her up on the opportunity. We decided to go way back in the palettes. Um, we decided to use an oldie but a goodie, the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Let me open it up for y'all. <laughs> peek, peek. Yes. Um, I'm going to put Carrie's link in the description box down below. Please be sure that you go see her look after watching my video. I know I will be. I have not seen her look yet. I'm super excited to see what she came up with. I just know it's finna. I just know it's gonna be so so good. So I had to bring I had to bring a little bit of my A game today, y'all. I had to I had to do it. Um, it really wasn't my A game, y'all. will see in the video that I had a lot of issues. So if you want to see how I got this look and you want to get ready with me, please keep watching. All right, so this is the look that I came up with. It's a bit of an elongated cut crease. Y'all know I don't do these often, so I just want to try something different today. Tonight, it's like 11 o'clock at night. Cool, but that's when I felt inspired. How y'all doing, y'all all right? Y'all cool? All right, so first I'm gonna start off by priming my eyes using the P. Louise eyeshadow base in the shade Rumor 6. I just got these bases. I'm so happy with them. I'm glad I got this shade because it's like very close to my skin tone, which is perfect for this kind of look. I didn't want to use the brighter colors or the pinks or nothing. I always use the pinks when I use that palette. So I just kind of wanted to use something different or whatever. Why am I already feeling goofy? I don't know why. Y'all know why? I, it's because I haven't talked on a video in quite a minute outside of a mukbang. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but a lot of my videos have been voiceovers. Um, like I mentioned in my mukbang, sometimes I'm not so, quite so motivated to film, or even if I am, sometimes I'm not feeling like super talkative. I'm not feeling super talkative tonight either, but I feel like saying something. I haven't talked during a makeup tutorial in such a long time. Also that kind of um, makes the tutorial longer and I'm trying to keep my tutorials under 10 minutes so me running my mouth is not going to help that but sometimes i just be wanting to talk yeah i mean look how good this base looks it's such a perfect shade so the first shade i'm going in with is this dark brown shade called cypress umber i'm gonna put that in and above my crease yeah something about the oranges and the browns were calling my name tonight in this palette Next, I'm using the shade Red Ochre, and I'm putting that above that Cypress Umber shade. Next, I'm taking this orange shade called Realgar. Realgar? Realgar. And I'm putting that up into the brow bone. I'm just taking some micellar water and a Q-tip, and I'm gonna just carve out how I want the elongated cut crease to go. I find that when I do that first, it, it helps the shape look a little bit better instead of me just taking my brush and doing it first. I might start over a little bit. I don't think I put enough brown on the end back here. I want it to look pigmented like this side. See, it's not quite. I'm just gonna add a little bit more of that dark brown. <sighs> I 
All right, let's try this again. <laughs> Okay, keep moving, keep moving. To cut my crease now, I'm gonna use the base in the shade Rumor 3. I ain't really liking this, y'all. I ain't really liking it. The shape of this one is just like not doing it for me. Let's see what happens when we cut the crease. I don't... <sighs> okay, that's kind of cute. So now I'm taking that shade Real Gar and put this all over the lid. Ugh, look how pretty that shade is. Mm. Um, so next I'm taking that deep brown shade Cypress Umber and I'm gonna use that to draw a wing. Now that that's looking nice and ugly, I'm going to take my makeup wipe and I'm just going to clean that up. Okay, these are two totally different shapes. Who? But y'all know what? I'm not going to let it get me down. I'm a strong woman. Alright, so next I'm taking this shimmery shade called Primavera. And I'm just going to put that right on the inside. Um, right on the inside of the eye right here and halfway up through the edge of the cut crease. Okay, like that. Now I'm starting to feel cute. Alright, so let me put some mascara and lashes on. For mascara, I'm using the MAC False Lashes Extreme and I do need to get the full size of this because I do like this mascara. Definitely just got some on my eyelid. I'm not gonna let nothing stress me out tonight. I'm feeling good about filming. I'm in the mood. I'm not gonna let these little mistakes get in my way. Cause the look is coming together and honey, I will be beat by the end of this video. I'm not letting no mascara, no uneven cut creases <laughs> ruin my night. All right, I'm using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I have a new foundation. I think it's a little on the dark side, but I'm gonna make it work. It's from Juvia's Place, so y'all know, like, it's really hard to tell what your shade is. And I wish the shades of the stick foundations were the same as the regular foundation. That way I would have just grabbed the same one. But I think the names are different. Don't get me to lie, but I'm pretty sure the names are different. So I'm using the Juvia's Place, the shade stick, multi-purpose foundation sticks. And I have the shade Benin. Benin. Maybe this is my shade, let me see. It's a little dark, but that's okay. Oh, it's kind of more than a little dark. All right, let's see what it do. All right, let me plop my lashes on. The lashes that I'm wearing are by Lashed by Kia and they're in the style Tokyo. They're the lashes I've been wearing lately. Everybody likes them. I've been getting so many compliments on these lashes. They came from your girl Lashed by Kia. Information will be in the description box. Um, just like a dummy, my makeup sponge is not wet yet. Hold, please. It's a little dark, but let's see. I think it's fine. This is definitely a light coverage. It's a little better. It is stark. <laughs> um, I like the finish of it. It's like a, I'll put this at like a, almost like a satin finish. Alright for concealer I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and this is in the shade Caramel. To bronze my nose I'm using Fenty Beauty in the shade Coco Naughty. And I got another one of these multi-purpose sticks in a deeper shade. This is in the shade Mauritania. Oh my gosh. Y'all know what? This was supposed to be really freaking dark. So I think, 
you know this was the foundation shade i'm guessing and this was supposed to be the contour shade no ma'am let me show y'all the picture of what that shade looked like i was supposed to, let me show you when y'all see how dark this looks on the website no the hell y'all did in juvia's place it's not working but when i tell y'all this is supposed to be so dark i was supposed to all right i'm gonna move on <laughs> i'm moving on I am like shocked. I'm really shocked right now. And now I can't find the other contour stick I wanted to use. <sighs> is all my makeup just like walking away? Where is everyone? I didn't even set my concealer. Oh my God. Oh my God. To set my concealer, I'm just gonna take this um, Bare Minerals Face Powder in the shade Cappuccino and I'm just gonna press this into the concealer. Strange. Things are happening to me. What movie is that from? Strange things. Strange things are happening to me. Ain't no doubt about it. It's okay, I gotta stop looking for it because I'm gonna go crazy. <sighs> I wish this was liquor. So I'm gonna do my under eye detail. First, I'm gonna take that um, dark brown shade Cypress Umber. And I'm gonna take that orange shade Real Gar. I'm gonna take this Marc Jacobs eyeliner and this is in the shade, this is a matte gel eye crayon. I don't know what shade it's in, it's brown. <laughs> and it's dry, hold on. <sighs> okay, I can't use that, it's dry. All right. Pick another one. All right, this is a dark brown uh, eyeliner by Lancome in the shade Brulee. I'm not gonna let nothing get me down. Nothing. All right, I'm gonna put on some bottom mascara. Juvia's Place tried me with that foundation stick up. They tried, yeah, girl. It's cool though. It's cool, diamond. For blush, I'm taking my Sephora Pro Face Palette and I'm using this shade right here called Premier. I'm also gonna take a little bit of the shade Red Carpet. Just a little bit. Oh, she blushed. To bronze, I'm mixing these two shades, Epic and Jet Setter. Now I'm taking this highlighter shade, LA. Oh, I love this highlighter. I'm also going to use this for my nose and inner eye highlight. Ooh, I'm feeling beat. Um, lips. What we doing for lips, y'all? What we doing? All right, so I'm lining my lips with BFF4 by ColourPop. For lips, I'm using Unveil by Fenty Beauty. I'm gonna turn this light off. All right, so finally, I'm gonna spray my face with the Makeup Revolution Hydrate and Fix. All right, I will be right back. All right, y'all, so this is the finished look. What do you think? Do you like it? Am I cute? Y'all, thank you so much for watching this video with me. Thank you for hanging out with me. <sighs> oh, I gotta take a drink, y'all. Um, I really like this look. It came together. Listen, I was nervous at first, as usual, but when everything is put together, baby, we slay, all right? I'm really sad I have to take this right off. What time is it? 12.26, Friday morning. Um, I want to thank Carrie for doing this collab with me. Thank you so much. Congratulations on 5K subscribers. You're the best. <sighs> I can't wait to see your look. I know you just finna shut it down. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Y'all, please be sure after watching this video to go to Carrie's channel and see her look. Tell her I sent you. Show her some love. Subscribe to her channel if you haven't already. She is a bomb. I promise you will not regret subscribing to her. With all that being said, like this video if you have a good time subscribe to my channel if you haven't already comment down below i talk back uh share this video with everybody that you know that you think would like this video that likes makeup videos and get ready with me and whatnot y'all i will see you next time bye